some effort white, my wheels to blow. If I lose those wheels, my rep on the street will be dead. Pick up my car and take it over to the garage on St. Mark's, all right, yo? Let them defuse that. Let them take care of that bomb. The clock's ticking and the wiring is messed up. One pothole too many and that thing could blow. Now move it. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save him. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you have to show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced me. Hey, you want yourself, sister. And you, Janice. Why are you so ugly? You are the No, he's an idiot and a jerk. Well, he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and I feel very know it all, but very pretty. I don't believe it. The women they think in New Beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janet, for her husband goes to New Beginnings, she thinks they know the wonder all over again. In this strange case, she comes to work for me. And she did a New Beginning for herself. She discovered the exciting idea of action all over the world. This is Janet's new garbage. That is a very early word. A travesty. I work miracles, senor. Not pimping. I save. I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio. You Mr. Who cut up my tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... Um, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, where in Latin? I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From a stay, okay? Do happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, then he's to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not a no. I think spanking is the only way to teach them right and wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I do you understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He won't take me so hard, my sleep fell out of my ear. It didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control guy in these schools. I've killed more rats, roaches, spawners than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country, I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had to beat me seven. What are you talking about, man? I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. 
Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller, you are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Lazaro. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration north continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stuffer? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to them. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Sun. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to report to carry your pigeons, and they can't be carried. What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Laszlo's a liar, Laszlo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, get your head in duty. No, we're going to commercial. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. That's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. I mean, oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me, Barry the Thumb. String puppets, glove puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Hey. Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum, yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mystery.
All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Crows. W what about them? Crows. What are you talking about? Laszlo, crows. Crows. 